fourth fret, and it's in the key of A minor. So if we started with this A minor chord, but we took our index finger off, the D, G, B, and then back to D. Just like that, and you let them ring out. Then we're going to the B string, and it's the one, two, third fret up from the capo. You're still holding that, and letting it ring out. Then you hit that first fret on the B while it's all ringing out. And then that open B, so. Move your middle finger to the second fret of the A string, ring finger hasn't changed, and now you have an E7 sus4 chord. It looks like an A7, but an A7 would be right there. This is up here. Okay, so next we've got That's a good one to start. Okay, so check it out. We need A minor, G, and then F. And I'm playing F this way. There's lots of different ways to play F. I'm going ring, pinky, middle, first. And then it goes real nice to the C chord. Okay, check it out. A minor, G, F, G. So they go by pretty quick, but if you're uh, a beginner working on your chords, then you just want to, you know, just while you're watching TV, or I used to say a long time ago, waiting for your Pop-Tart or whatever, you can just practice the chord changes. Anyway, here we go. A minor, G, F, G. And then we're going to E7, which is just like an E chord, an E major chord, but with the ring finger off. And it's easiest to just, is to hit that E7, and then we're gonna add that sus4, which is on the G string, second fret, like this. And it's what those background vocals, 